Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again. We're back on videos, and today we're talking about Horizon Forbidden West. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Horizon. Most of you know that have been following my channel for a while, uh, and I'm very excited for Forbidden West, though, since I haven't been doing videos on the channel, I've also not been paying attention to video games, really, at all, other than through the podcasts and such. So the thing is, I've seen clips, but I haven't watched the demo for Horizon Forbidden West from the state of play back in like end of May which is like when I took my break from the podcast from everything let alone for videos like yeah I wasn't paying attention to video games at the end of May or anything like that so um probably came out of the worst time for me to have missed it which I did so today I'm actually going to sit down and react to the demo and then talk about it talk about my thoughts on it um not sure if anyone's gonna be interested in that because like this is so old we don't care tyler but here we are let's talk about it let's watch it i'm excited i'm excited let's let's do this let's do this okay i think i've seen this sort of bit to it easy easy God, this looks ridiculous. This is actually the first time I'm sitting here watching it on a 4K monitor in 4K. So. Wait, what happened? Where's Aaron? Ambush. Oh yeah, Aaron's here. I forgot he was in this demo. They hit our camp hard. We ran and they chased us down. The lighting. The facial animations. Look at the detail in Aloy's hair. This is fucking ridiculous. It's just classic Aloy, yeah. always wanting to help people, always focusing on doing the right thing. She's a nurturer. That's what's so drawing about a character. It doesn't matter where they're from, what tribe, what culture. She's there to help. What are raiders doing in these ruins? All the same sort of animations of Zero Dawn with your movement, but it works. It's the same way God of War and God of War Ragnarok. You know, it's the same sorts of animation. You don't, what do you need to change about it? Like, the animation's great. You just update the graphics and... Fuck me. And it's in those little details there, the way over there. Holy fuck. Just how vast this all is. It's a fucking street light. It's just all the machines look just that tad bit more fucking aggressive, don't they? Everything we've seen so far in the Midwest. It's like just turning the machines up to 11 and being like, Yep, well we've got chainsaws for now, so that's a fucking thing we're doing. Oh, these motherfuckers are riding him too! Raiders? Riding machines? This is not good. Jesus. Something in Zero Dawn that I wanted to see improve was definitely the combat and the way it flowed. Because it could get a bit chaotic. And this looks a bit more... I don't know how to explain it. A bit more clear? And you, it looks a bit more in control of the movement and everything going on with Aloy. Because sometimes it felt like you're just fucking jumping around to survive, and it felt a bit out of control at times. These guys won't give up. I'm just confused about how. Oh shit! Little grappling hook. Yeah, wow. Well. Oh, maybe it's just the headphones, but fucking hell, the sound design right now? Oh, the music. Holy shit. Fuck, this looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. Strong here. Oh, cool. Okay. Actually, like, having some... 
different sort of movement mechanics underwater. It's not just your swimming, but currents and what I assume work with you and against you. Just small little details like that that can make the gameplay a bit more interesting with those what look great for a little bit, but being underwater can be fucking boring the longer and more you have to do it in any video game. So the more interesting you can make it, the, the better for sure. A fucking elephant. No, we saw this in that first trailer. Holy fucking shit. Who are these guys? You guys wouldn't be laughing. I have my hammer. Enough! Get moving! Is it silence that's helped them control the machines, or have they figured their own way? Another one of these fucking demon things on the side. Well, we know Silence has some sort of remnant of Hades. I hope there's more of that so you hear the dialogue from the NPCs. Walking around, there's a lot of that in like The Last of Us Part 2 or well, in Naughty Dog games really. They're great with it. So I hope that um, this isn't just for a demo thing because a lot of games can put this cool shit in a demo but they failed to then deliver that in um, in your main games well the hand to hand combat it is way more fluid one thing I actually didn't like how a lot of it like you see the slowdown there but in the hand to hand there's a lot of slowdown moments and it just made the game feel like it was almost lagging behind the actions you're trying to do and I know what it's trying to do it's obviously trying to make yourself think because there's a lot that goes on within the combat of Horizon, but I like that it's made everything feel a bit- what's she- fuck she doing here? Oh! Cool. Attachments to the spear. I love that. Just all the motions here look a lot more controlled, and it means they can have the combat a bit more at a good pace without feeling like you don't know what the fuck's going on on your screen. So that hand-to-hand -hand looks really, really nice. Really, really nice. I mean, obviously, we've talked about it before, the graphics, incredible. Um, all the textures, the lighting's unbelievable. And the setting here, and you see the, the Golden Gate Bridge in the distance. And use of a grappling hook, just for different navigations, and that's just going to change the way, obviously, the different terrain environments we can explore here in this game. I think I know a way to get there fast. Which can hopefully create, I'm sure, some really... Oh, yeah, I saw a clips of this. A little parachute. I love that. Like a shield parachute. That's great. Um, what I was saying, it can create way more memorable set pieces. One thing I loved about Zero Dawn is there was quite a lot of memorable set pieces they created in the world um, with those main storyline missions uh, that they had you go to. But they were like end-of-the-map type um, whether it be like cauldron type thing, so I think with this they can have it more spread throughout the map and um, just based on the new navigation tools they're giving you. It won't just be in your mainline missions, they can create sort of set pieces of side missions or just within the world to explore. Made navigation way easier and it looks way even better to control um, the movement here with the machines. Okay, fighting one of these things is gonna be unbelievable. And terrifying. So combat on a machine, this is what I really am keen to see how that's improved. Again, oh shit, well that didn't last very long. Are we gonna see some new weapons here? Oh boy, shit, you've got a fucking throwing spear. Oh, fucking yes. But they work, work similar to some of the arrows that you can shoot that then will detonate afterwards. Holy shit, the weapons on this thing are unreal. Seen some old, old classics. Oh, what's some sort of like goo? Goo is on that bomb. 
It's even slowed it down a little more, I reckon, when it, when you do do the sort of dead eye thing. I reckon that's even a bit slower than in the first game. But it somehow again looks way more controlled. I just felt like it was the combat could be so chaotic. This looks what like just the tattest bit more controlled. Oh shit! Yep. Okay. Using your traversal. Oh, so you can almost like t do a double jump. And oh god, and it's all destructible. Yep. Fucking chaos. Yep, see a weak spot down the belly there, eh, lawyer? Nice one. But this time, I have a present for you. I found it, Eggers. So this must be some sort of mainline story mission. What is Aloy looking for? Obviously on the west coast in San Francisco. Barrow. Okay. You always said a storm was coming. Yeah. And it's almost here. Is this some sort of like weather control? Fucking demon. So that's the first proper time I actually sat down and watched and really paid attention. Like I think when I was live, I was seeing bits on my phone originally when it was happening and I just sort of never got it back around to it. You'd seen clips here and there on Twitter, but to properly sit down and pay attention, it's nice. Like I'm back doing videos now. So obviously I'm back to pay attention to the games I care about. Halo Infinite is what obviously a bit of a focus of my channel right now in the Four Pillars community heading into Infinite but the next game up is Horizon Forbidden West um, early next year so as soon as Infinite's sort of out and we've covered that and I'll still be doing some Fable and some Forbidden West stuff when news comes out but once again Infinite um, sort of season's over we're straight in the new year into Forbidden West all the hype surrounding it so I wanted to get this out and just do a Forbidden West video and I thought what should I make? Shit, I haven't actually watched this demo. And obviously we know the graphics are going to be incredible. To see Eren back, Aloy, just felt so familiar. It felt like a proper sequel, and that's again what I love about God of War Ragnarok. I've said on the podcast before, I feel like so many games try to reinvent themselves and just change everything. What I've loved that I saw in uh, Ragnarok and now in Forbidden West is these are real sequels. Proper sequels where they're not trying to okay, we made that game, let's make a completely different game, but have the same title and go off of it. Let's, okay, take what we made, which was great, and then just build on it. And this is a game that was built on the groundwork that Guerrilla did with Horizon Zero Dawn. And Forbidden West gameplay-wise looks incredible. Uh, improving just what we got to see was it combat navigation in a big, big way. And it improved those, both those things drastically uh, with, you saw the grappling hook, the little parachute like shield parachute and to be able to use that not just in your normal navigation but also in combat to navigate an environment for defense like that adds a lot of tools as well the underwater elements to it and knowing that it's not just water that you swim through but there's also environments under the water there's also different terrain in the sense of different currents so that just changes and makes that layered and more interesting so to build on what you've got in Zero Dawn and have that in Forbidden West, it's just, I love it. It's exactly what I want to see from a sequel. Story only time will tell, obviously. Hoping we can really keep a lot of that mystery that the first game gave us uh, and create an intriguing storyline where we're going to want to find answers to and find out more about this world and where the Earth is at this point uh, in our future, uh, if you will. And a big question I had and wanted to see improved was the combat from Zero Dawn which I loved and it's a lot of fun but can get really chaotic and you feel like should I need a breather to sort of figure out what's going on because you're just sort of firing, firing, firing 
Yeah. Maybe I suck. I don't know. But what I loved about this, everything from hand-to-hand combat, from using your, your range weapons, felt, felt way more controlled. Slowed down a bit more at points that you need to have things a bit more slowed down to, to think about, like you're shooting. But when it came to your hand-to-hand close quarters, lots going on. Felt way more controlled. Let it flow a bit more, which was nice. So I love seeing all that. What I saw from this demo, fantastic. Love it. Can't wait to see what's next. Uh, and can't wait for Horizon Forbidden West. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I know it's obviously a fucking weird late one, but I just wanted to do this, get this out. I'm going to be doing some Halo videos in the next couple of weeks, unless there's some Forbidden West news or some Fable news. Um, I want to do some videos like playing some of my favorite missions in the different Halo games and Legendary to build up to it. Some more coverage before uh, Infinite comes out, of course, with any news um, or major details or trailers or anything like that. I'll be covering it. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and of course the Four Pillars Network, where the podcasts are, Four Pillars Podcast, as always, podcast, where James, Ethan, George, and myself, we're going to be hyping it up, talking about it. Subscribe to all the Four Pillars channels. All the links to everything in the description. Join the hype. We're going to be covering Halo Infinite, and then we're going to be moving on to Horizon Forbidden West in the new year. Lots to talk about, lots to cover, and lots of fun to have in these video games. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.